Each week on Alabama Inc., we bring in one of our show experts to talk with correspondent Josh Sneed. Our expert gives Josh a top five list, and Josh takes it from there. This time, Joe Calamusa from the University of Alabama Business School is back for more. He lays out all the ways companies can outsmart you, the consumer. If you're watching this from the comfort of a Snuggie, then you're already an expert on how companies can make you buy things you really don't need. For the rest of you, Joe Calamusa is going to give us some insight on how companies try to influence us. Unlike the good people at Subway that offer a quality product at a reasonable price. Subway. Eat for... No, they don't really sponsor us. All right, Joe, welcome back. Glad to be here. All right, you know, we actually got a letter from uh, Taylor Hicks after the Did we? Your first visit. Okay, yeah. you he didn't just said, woo! Address, did you? Yeah. yeah, so we, I don't know if he was angry or. He's got plenty of free time to come find me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right, good. I like it. All right, so what are we doing today? Today we're going to do five ways that companies influence you. Okay. All right. So uh, that's, you know, like sneaky ways and stuff like that? Well, this? it could be, but in most cases, it's just how they're, try they're trying to influence you so that you'll buy their products. Right. And you're a marketing guy, so you kind of can give us some secrets. I'm a marketing guy, yes. Okay. Um, but this is free television, so you won't get the best secrets. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Number five, start us off. Uh, number five is they're really good at finding you now. Um, with, with digital media and web marketing, they're targeting you personally. They know who you are and what your ha history is and what your needs are. So it's different than it used to be. I, I think it's because every time I buy something, whether it's a stick of gum or a car, you have to give everybody you have, you have your phone number, your mm -hmm. address, your email address, where you're going to be for the next five years. And the biggest piece of it is now that when you search anything online, that, that search follows you no matter where you go. So if you're interested in um, going on vacation and you're looking at travel sites, mm -hmm. everywhere you go after that, those travel sites now are following you. Yes. So they know who you are. They're trying to get you to pull that trigger on that travel that you didn't buy when are you were on the you site. Are you sure you don't want to go Exactly to right. <laughs> and, and so they're really, really good at finding you and tracking you, much better than they were in previous generations before web-based advertising. That's not creepy. All right, number four. Number four is more old school, but number four is they like to launch new things. Everything is new. Everything is a launch. Because people want the newest Because people stuff. want the new, there, there um, are so many consumers who are on the forefront of technology and the forefront of products, and they'll wait in line to get things, and they want to make sure that the first to buy something on their block or the first to buy something in their family. So companies constantly put new on things to get them to purchase it. And is that mostly with just young people? Because, uh, you know, a lot of old people, you know, they'll stay with old phones with three buttons on it, them. It is. It's with the millennial generation, the younger generation specifically, uh, is focused on having technology first. Mm -hmm. Um, especially among their friends and colleagues. So, um, yes, it's becoming more popular that new, that launch, launch dates, product launch dates are like movie launch dates now. Right, yeah. Um, and it's becoming people waiting in line just to make sure they're the first to have that phone or the first to have that piece of technology. Okay, all right, number uh, three? And number, yeah, and number three is they'll use your friends to influence you. So, so they use your own friends against you. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, absolutely. And so it's, it kind of goes with number four in that they're going to make sure that if the folks, the people around you in your um, social um, set or even in your geography, if, if a product is popular in that area, they're going to make sure you know that product is popular in that area and you're falling behind if you don't have it. Wow. How do they do that? How do they find out what's popular? The biggest way to do it now is through social media. So they'll take, you know, people uh, think that companies use social media um, to deliver information, and they do, but they use social media to receive it as well. So they know what's going on in each marketplace. They know how long you spent on a website, yes, like and whether you hovered your mouse over something. Exactly right, and they're gonna, and they, if you made any comments on social media platforms, they can take that and rever reverse it around. It's something as simple as when you go online to buy something, um, you'll have reviews of that product, star reviews of that product. That's them influencing you. Those, those reviews are chosen, they're not yeah. every review, and so that's them influencing you to make that purchase. So people who uh, jumped on Twitter thinking that uh, the world is now going to be able to hear all their hilarious uh, <laughs> jokes, really is they're just giving all their information away to marketing. Every, everybody is, is not laughing at their jokes <laughs> and they're giving away all their information to marketing companies for right. sure. Good point. I think you just broke a lot of people's hearts right now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. The truth hurts sometimes. Yeah. All right, so number two? No, yes, no, number two, and kind of goes with four. Number two is they'll use the opposite of new, which is things are running out. Um, there's, uh, the supply is running out, you've got to act now. That's old school too, but it yeah. still happens a lot. 
Um, whereas there's a certain model that you can get. There's only a few of them left. I feel like that's the the uh, like the TV shopping, like the it, it PVC. Is. That's their wheelhouse, it, isn't it? It, it is, but it's, and it's but it's used in other um, areas as well. And it's about getting um, consumers react to urgency. So if they feel like they've got to make a decision now, oftentimes that guilt of, of what's going to happen if I don't get this when it's gone. Um, and that happens in every aspect of sales and marketing, but urgency and the product is running out, supply is running out, only a few seats left, yeah. those kind of you things You need this work. car. There are only 2,000 or 3,000 <laughs> more at the plant. I will make some more if you buy those. <laughs> yeah. But it, 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 it's, it's old school, but it still works. People react to it psychologically to I've got to get this before it's gone. Right. All right, number one, what do we got? Number one is they're going to warm you up by getting you to try the product. Okay. Um, if, they can tr if they can get you to try a lower end, um, lesser expensive product, mm -hmm. you do become, and you're satisfied with it, you do become addicted to that brand, addicted to that product so you can buy more. Yeah. It used to be trying to sell you a warranty or an insurance policy on something you bought, but now it's if you buy, um, most people who have a Mac, Apple Mac for example, the Mac computer wasn't their first purchase. They bought a, a lesser expensive product in the, in the Apple line, an iPod, an iPad, or an iPhone, and they worked their way up to the $2,000 Mac. Yeah. Um, and Apple got you by getting you to buy a hundred dollar something. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's they you, they're going to get you to try a product, even if it's free trial sometimes. Yeah. And they know if the product's good that you'll buy that product again, and you'll buy um, more expensive versions of the product. They call it cross selling and upselling, mm -hmm. and it's done all the time to get consumers yeah, to ramp up. That's how Netflix got me. And they get you, and that's how they do it. And if if, if the product is good, it's even more effective. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming in again. I think you caught us all up. Now we know kind of some marketing secrets. So just stay off the internet. That would help you and accept you would be a hermit if you did that. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right.